Hi there, this is Osa with a new process video. I've been uh, off the grid for a while. No, I have not really. I have just been unable to record a voiceover, but I have been scrapbooking quite a lot. So now I have lots of layouts to show you and I hope that I'll have the time to make a lot of voiceovers during the weekend. But I, as always, I can't promise anything. Uh, Last time that I spoke to you, I was scrapbooking a trip from last summer and I had lots of photos from the outdoor museum and the visit uh, in the area around uh, Östersund. Uh, now I'm moving on to an outing that we did. It was just in the afternoon, I think, uh, one day in May last year. We went to a beach that is pretty close to where we live. It's actually perhaps five or seven minutes uh, with car and uh, I hadn't been there before and uh, this was just one of those um, moments we have <laughs> when we decide we need to go somewhere and then I, I, sh I shout I need to go to, do, to see the sea and uh, then we decide on a spot <laughs> that seems uh, uh, good and then we just um, head away with um, a basket with some, some uh, uh, picnic or something like that and uh, uh, this time we didn't go very far it had been on our list we actually have a list with uh, spots that we want to visit so so it's not a, a long decision process <laughs> and it was that magical moment in the spring when the the leaves start to come out and uh, the sun is warming up and everything is really wonderful and you feel that there's a fresh start here. <laughs> Summer is coming. And uh, I'm using the stitched uh, collection, the 6x6 six six paper pad for this page, but it won't be a lot of pattern paper. Uh, this will be a 6 photo layout with a huge photo block in the middle. I have just uh, taped everything together on the back side. And it's basically the picnic photos of this outing that we did. So it's a, hu uh, a shot of hubby and the kids running on the beach. And then there's a, a close up of the leaves and you can see my family in the background walking towards the, the sea. And then there's the beach. And in summertime, this is obviously a, a beach for, for bathing and uh, sunbathing. And it's really, really pretty, really close to the, to the town and, and um, awkwardly close to one of the uh, aluminum factories or the aluminum factory that we have in town but they don't have really the pollutions going into the water so <laughs> and, and the water is always checked around here so you know if it's safe to, to bathe here and uh, then there's a shot of uh, uh, my son uh, hubby and me just enjoying the sunshine after our picnic and then there's a shot of the, the wheat uh, buns that we we'd had with the coffee. So, so it's just a collage of, uh, of pretty moments from this day. I remember that I took lots of photos and uh, you will see uh, quite a lot of those uh, during the next couple of videos because I, I have made a whole bunch of layouts because it, it was something with the light this day. The sun was shining, everyone was happy, and this spring feeling made the photo shoots, uh, made this a very nice photo shoot. I have taken two different pattern papers, or no, it's one pattern paper, and I have cut strips just so that I can piece together a six by perhaps two uh, border or uh, top and bother, bottom piece for this page, and I'm just cutting off the, the excess uh, pieces that, that uh, was roughly cut. This is the name of uh, this uh, beach and it's also the name of the camping ground that's close by this beach. And uh, I have cut it with my silhouette cameo and I'm uh, coloring it in two colors with my distress paints from Ranger. These distress paints as you know, they come with this wonderful, like, f uh, top. Uh, it's it's not felt. It's more like foam. It's a foam top, so that you can 
dab the paint uh, on on your project and uh, I, I haven't used that a lot but now when I'm starting to get back to using wood, wood veneers it's really a perfect tool because you don't have to bring out your your uh, paint brushes and the water and anything like that you just I, I used to tape the the stuff that I want to color onto a scrap piece of paper and then I just can I just dab it with these uh, dabbers and uh, and I I'm really uh, pleased with the fact that I have rediscovered uh, these uh, these uh, felt up or the foam applicators a, a lot of fun and and I love working with uh, paint I brought out my jar of wood veneers and they are uh, pretty mixed uh, up and uh, you can find pretty much any kind of uh, <laughs> shape in these yards. I have six of them and uh, I was looking for spring tea themed uh, wood veneers for this layout and I found a whole bunch with fo like birds and and uh, leaves and everything and I colored half of them in green and half in this very like pale yellow um, or not pale but more like it's it's kind of I think it's called something with uh, citron ah, anyway uh, it's it's uh, really pretty and uh, fresh and I ended up with a huge pile of decorations uh, I brought out a couple of buttons in the same colors and n now I thought that I need to place everything on this page and uh, I started doing that. Uh, by this time I was feeling a bit reluctant to this page because it, it wasn't going the way I thought it should go. go. And uh, I, I was pretty pleased with the title and uh, then I started placing all the decorations and I felt ah this is so out of date and it looks like I've just pretty much pulled all of my uh, green and yellow embellishment out and I've placed them on a row. And then I felt, ah, ah, I don't need to publish this one. <laughs> it's okay. It showcases these photos. But then I kind of grabbed myself by the ear and I said, why? Why do you think like that? Why do you want to make a layout that's not good? And uh, why, do you, why don't you fix it? So I started uh, thinking about what could possibly fix this layout. And I played some with washi tape and then I felt ah, I need to let go of all these uh, decorations. So I started looking at the decorations differently to see what I could do. I started with uh, threading the buttons because that gives a really, um, it, it gives a more interesting um, look. And uh, then I started taking away embellishments because this was uh, becoming a display of bits and pieces and that's not a style that I'm very fond of. Then I went to my stash and tried to find some uh, die cuts that went in this same tone as perhaps the sand and the beach and I brought out a couple of greens but mostly neutral uh, die cuts and then I started building clusters the way you're supposed to do <laughs> with paper pieces uh, behind layering on top on layering and making edges and making them uh, overlap and touching and things started coming together and uh, I cut uh, these it's I think they look almost like old vintage stamps or something like that or as uh, so I like I I mean, I mean um, uh, postage stamps and uh, I placed those in both clusters and I got some small pieces that I saved for later those uh, almost like chevron or arrowy kind of, of thin strips I continued with the inking that I had done around the edges of those small pieces of pattern paper that I had placed on top and bottom and uh, it it started to come together this uh, was when I thought that this is going to be pretty good for a collage page and uh, when layering I also got 
the the layers to be more like dimensional or, or not instead of just being like rectangular they got irregular and a lot more interesting so for example you see those uh, the, the big arrow at the bottom it's overlapping the photo just a, a tiny bit and the tag is overlapping the photo and it's hiding one of those uh, dark spots uh, with the, the jacket of, of my um, of hubby and I do the same at the top cluster where the irregularly shaped objects go over the, um, the photo to, to create more interest and this layout type uh, where the photo block is so large and you all only have these two um, places for, for embellishments uh, you need to make those interesting without making them extra square <laughs> So, so I, I started following a couple of rules <laughs> and uh, I decided to use these thin uh, strips that I had left and I'm just adding to these clusters, making them something completely different that, than I had from the beginning. And uh, at this moment I feel that, ah, this is a layout that I'll be proud of, proud of especially thinking that I, at one point, felt that I could just uh, let it be boring <laughs> and uh, I had one last uh, small strip of that uh, arrow uh, die cut there that went below the, the title with the date. I outlined the title with a thin pen line just to make it stand out a bit more on the background. And I used some washi tape and some of the embellishments that I had chosen from the beginning. I hope that you enjoyed this process video. I hope to see you soon here in my channel again. Take care. This is Osa. Bye!